everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I hope you all had an amazing Easter. I know I had the best four days of relaxation and doing pretty much not a lot. Oh, it went so fast, didn't it? Anyway, thank you as always for coming and watching my vlogs. Today's vlog is all about my favourite, favourite, favourite nursing apps for your mobile phone. Now, for part of this video, I am going to be using my mobile, so I'm recording on my laptop now. Hopefully it's not going to make too much of a difference to the quality, but I just wanted to be able to show you the apps as I go. So, the first app I want to uh, talk about is the one that I use the most for work, which is the Right Breathe app. Oh, hang on. There. <laughs> That's what it looks like, a little R and a little B. Clicking on it. Here we go, it's just loading. But this is just a brilliant app for all of your inhalers. If you're doing asthma um, reviews, if you're gonna be the asthma nurse, if you wanna know more about different inhalers, good luck. There's so many, but this is literally all of the inhalers and it's got all the dosage, what they're for. Um, let me just give you an example. I'm gonna click on the first one. So this shows you the actual inhaler, the device, and it tells you what type of inhaler it is. And then it tells you the medicine that's in it it tells you the dose it tells you what it's licensed for so this particular one is for copd and then there's all different links and sources and training so there's training videos as well so you can show your patients how to use their inhaler um, this is just brilliant and you can send this information to your patient as well i know we've got our, a text system on our computer so it's just brilliant for that sort of thing uh, the price oh, i was so shocked by seeing these prices of these inhalers it's ridiculous if you look at this one this one's foster is 29 pounds 32 for one inhaler and now if you go to um salbutamol hang on let me just um oh yeah so you can search so it, there's a little search thing at the top so if you press that sorry i just went back salbutamol um and then search at the bottom and it will come up with the uh salbutamol so salbutamol salmol ventolin they're all the same thing but yeah if you click on this 95 pence look at that guys look at the price difference 95 pence <laughs> Not that it matters. I mean, I prescribe whatever's good for my patient. So, yeah, it doesn't matter on price to me. But it's just shocking when you look at the prices and stuff like that. And you're just like, what? And it's just, all in all, a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant app. I, I This is my go-to now at work. I started making flashcards as well from this app so that I had them. And tr I'm trying to remember every single inhaler. Because, as you can see, there is absolutely <laughs> a lot also if you're looking at this main page as well on the main page it's got what it is it has the dose there and it also tells you what type of inhaler it is on the front there if you can see that it says llama dry powder or lava and llama dry powder or ics inhaled quarter steroid <laughs> inhaler or a long acting bronchodilator um inhaler that these are all the different types but it this page is good to look at initially because it shows you which type is which whereas if you click into it um it doesn't really tell you as much as that but it does give you the details of the dosing and everything yeah you get it good app so the next app i want to bring your attention to is one of my absolute favorites and i have used this recently as well to create a protocol at work so this one is the nhs safeguarding app it looks like this it's white with nhs guide and it's safeguarding if you google nhs safeguarding app it will come up if you're on android um or iphone i'm not sure about other app stores really really sorry about that but these are all free i forgot to say sorry these are all free apps <laughs> anyway nhs safeguarding is brilliant it's got everything you need to know about safeguarding it's got how to raise concerns the context the types of abuse exploitation and neglect um it's got the um multi-agency safeguarding arrangements it's got safeguarding commissions assurance and nhs and contacts this is brilliant if you don't know who your contacts are in safeguarding get the contacts there you go location of where you need to be so i am now in south east I'm now in Hampshire area. Are you concerned about a child or young person or concerned about an adult? Let's just say we're concerned about an adult and it takes you straight to the website that you need to be. So there you go. And then it's got all of the um, 
contact details so it's got all the services and everything in Hampshire safeguarding it's just amazing uh, and I used this recently like I said to create one of my protocols at work because I had a bit of a situation and I wasn't sure about it so I had to use the app to do all my safeguarding stuff and then I got all the up-to-date contacts and I made a whole protocol for our surgery for it so this is an amazing app 10 out of 10 for these apps guys iResus here it is it's a little black symbol it's got a little do 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 resus you know um and this is from the resuscitation council uk this is amazing it's got all of your guidelines what to do how to save lives everything you need to know everything so you've got basic life support choking advice advanced life support in hospital resuscitation bradycardia tachycardia anaphylaxis all of these so let's just click anaphylaxis someone's having an anaphylactic shock following their vaccine in your clinic and you're like oh my god what do i do it's there boom at the touch of your fingertips it is there and then they've got extra little notes that you can click on in the app as well so if you click on that there you go it brings up extra information it's just such a good handy app if you haven't got it you need to get it because it, yeah it could potentially save a life if you don't know something and if you're making flashcards again something like that really really great app to go to next up we have Elsevier nurse guide looks like that well there. it's a little white symbol with like a little cross with different colors Elsevier nurse guide I'm going to put all the links below anyway guys for all of these apps so you can have a look at them but this is brilliant let's click on it and have a look so there you go again we have a dictionary so click on the dictionary it's got all of your words all of the abbreviations that you need to know then it's got fundamental procedures so when you click on that it's got general principles it's got psychological issues so go on to general pr principles Okay, admission to hospital. What is an admission to hospital? So then it's got all the information about that. Common clinical conditions. So this has got the cardiovascular uh, system. You've got the respiratory system, the blood, gastro, renal, nervous, endocrine, disease of the bones and joints, immune system, cancer and surgery. Everything you need to know in one place. Next up. Following the footsteps of Florence Nightingale. Oh, so a little bit of Florence Nightingale is on there. How cute is that? Um, and then discover the world of nursing with Elsevier. So you click on that and then there you go. But this app is just amazing. It's got everything you really need in one little app. And last but not least, this is the bonus app of bonus. Brucey bonus time. This is called the Notion app here. Little N, little white box. And that is it. Don't judge me by my apps, guys. But yes, the Notion app is brilliant. This, my friend told me about this app just recently. I've literally just got it and just downloaded it, but it is amazing. If you are a student nurse, if you're a nurse, if you want to take notes and do things and keep it all in one place, and if you like documenting notes and things on there, this is the app for you. So you can add so many different things. You can personalize it. Look, there's me here, the background. You can personalize your background. And then you've got all these different things. You can add journals, you can do a task, you can do create um, like a list as well, like a planner of your assignments and things like that. You, it's so good to keep a load of different things in here and a load of notes and things. It's, it's just brilliant. It's a really, really good app. But like I said, I've only just downloaded it. So literally I have, this is just like an automatic page that they set up, but I've literally changed my emoji and background and that's it so far. But yes, I'm getting, I'm really excited to explore this app a lot more. And uh, there's a lot more actions and things like that that you can do. You can upload Word documents, you can upload videos to it, you can throw everything in uh, one place. So if I've got a load of documents that I want to upload for, uh, let's say, an assignment or something, I can upload all the documents and references and I've got it all in one place to plan my assignment. Not that I ever plan assignments. Don't tell your lecturers that I said that <laughs> follow best practice plan your assignment so that is it that was my top five favorite apps with a Brucey bonus at the end with the notion one which is a really really good app to just like I said keep all your documents and upload plans for assignments and videos or blogs if you if you do that sort of thing it's really really good so thank you thank you thank you to my very good friend who shared that information with me I uh, am gonna get excited trying that out and planning things in my life and <laughs> we'll see so that is it from me let me know what you think have you got these apps what do you think about these apps if there's any other apps you've got I know I had another one um 
think it's called Emergency Room or something like that. That was quite a good app, uh, but it just took up too much of my time, so I had to delete it. But that was a really, I think it was called Emergency Room. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was an app where you go in as like an A&E nurse and you have to treat the patient and work out what's wrong with them and stuff like that. It was what, it was solid. It was so hard to do. Yeah, it's, it's, it takes up a lot of your time, but if you are interested in that thing and you've got more time on your hands, go for it, download it. Uh, but that's the only other app that I can think of that I've had that I thought, oh, actually that's quite a good app, but I just have not got time. Um, but yeah, if you've got any other apps that you think um, would be a good app, let me know what have you got, what do you like about them, links below, have a look and I shall see you all next time. Music